Hi, I'm Peter Lewin. Welcome to Blood Sugar Magic, or BSM. Metformin is the most commonly used medication to help reduce blood glucose in type 2 diabetes. So, if you've recently been prescribed metformin, or you're taking metformin at the moment, you may find this series useful. In today's episode, I'll talk about how metformin works in the body. The information provided is intended for Australian audiences only, and is general in nature. It does not replace the advice given to you by your healthcare professional. Please read this disclaimer and the following terms and conditions carefully before proceeding. Metformin can reduce the blood glucose in three possible ways. Firstly, it can improve the sensitivity to insulin in the body. This in turn can reduce insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is when the cells in our body do not use insulin properly. These cells include our muscle, liver and fat cells. Insulin is a hormone which is produced by the pancreas. Insulin is like a key which unlocks the cells to allow the glucose from the bloodstream to enter the cells to be used as fuel. In insulin resistance, insulin has difficulty fitting into the cells. This means more insulin keys are required than usual to open the locks. As a result, in the early stages of insulin resistance, the pancreas produces more insulin. However, eventually it cannot keep up and the glucose remains in the blood instead of going into the cells. This results in higher blood glucose levels. Metformin helps the insulin keys fit into the cells more effectively so that glucose can enter the cells more efficiently. This means there's glucose in the blood. Secondly, metformin works on the liver. When we are fasting, the liver rather than food becomes the main source of glucose. When the blood glucose becomes low, the liver produces glucose and releases it into the bloodstream for our cells to use. This occurs, for instance, in the early hours of the morning. However, in type 2 diabetes, because of insulin resistance, the liver produces more glucose than the body requires. This causes a rise in blood glucose levels. Metformin prevents the liver from producing more glucose than is needed. Metformin can delay the absorption of glucose from the digestive system into the bloodstream. When we eat, the carbohydrates in food get broken down into glucose by our digestive system. The glucose is then absorbed into a bloodstream and taken to cells all over the body to be used as fuel. After a meal, our blood glucose rises. Metformin can help to slow down the rise in blood glucose after meals, so that it does not peak as high or as quickly. Because of these three actions, metformin helps reduce the blood glucose levels. We hope you can join us for part three, which talks about common side effects and what can be done if they occur. Thank you for watching Blood Sugar Magic BSM.